Starting the day off with the University of Albany Great Danes, head coach Greg Gattuso, running back Elijah E.B. Token Hanks. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, coach, I'll start with you. An excellent season a year ago. You had seven wins, including a win over Buffalo to start things off, but unfortunately left out of the playoff mix. Does that serve as motivation this year to make sure there's no doubt left in anybody's mind at the end of the year? Well, you know, we talk a lot about that. I think it's a, it's really important that we earn our way in. And, you know, we felt we did enough to get in. But, you know, the, there was a few people on the committee that, that thought we didn't. So, um, but we opened that door. We, we lost a, a game or two we, we thought we could win. And, and uh, you know, our, our kids are excited about it. It, it, it. I think they believe they can make it now, which is probably the most important thing. So it's, it's a big year for us. And the opportunity to put two great years together is uh, really important to us. Now, I remember a, a couple of seasons ago, I was, before you got on stage, talking to you about, hey, can you pronounce this one? <laughs> it's E.B. Token Hanks, right? No doubt in anyone's mind how to pronounce this special player's name. He has been phenomenal, led the CAA in rushing a year ago. What makes him so special? Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something that a kid has to prove. When you, when you have a name like that and everyone learns how to <laughs> say it, that means you're a pretty good football player. So. You know, EB's done a great job, and he, he's just—he's got great instincts. And but I think his will to be successful is—is is the most important thing. And he—he and, uh, he has uh, a great work ethic. Comes from a great family. Um, he, he is a great leader for us right now, and we're really happy to have him on our football team. He's—he's a, he's a leader of our culture, and, and not just a leader of our offense, but in all things, he does a great job. And Elijah, you know, uh, last game of the season, of course, you went down with that torn ACL. First of all, how's recovery been? Uh, for you here in this offseason? Uh, the, the recovery's been going great. You know, I'm still ahead of schedule, looking good, looking great, getting ready for, the, for camp. When you have an injury like that, is it more of a physical thing to get over or, or a mental to kind of trust your knee again? Um, to me, it's definitely mental, just being able to realize that you are back and the little things like getting hit again, making cuts mm -hmm. again, and just mentally with, you know, getting out of bed, learning how to walk, learning how to cut again. You have to reteach yourself everything, but before you can learn everything physically, you have to get your mind ready to be able to do those the necessary things to get back into tune mentally. Absolutely. If you have any questions for Elijah or Coach Katusa, remember to log on to Facebook Live now and ask away. We'll share them here on the show. And you know, let's go back to last year. You did have a phenomenal year leading up to that last game of the year before the injury. Uh, just talk about your performance last season. How were you so successful? Um, I just basically, you know, I, I, I like to be a team guy. I like to feed off the energy of my of the team and just realizing that, you know, that those guys do feed off of me as well. I knew I had to lead by example, so I knew I had to show out every game and I just made sure I had to do what I had to do, whatever the coaches needed me to do. I was willing to do it and hope the best from there. We're looking at a, a bunch of offensive highlights, but the defense was pretty darn good as well a season ago for Albany. Ranked eighth in all of FCS in defense, so I would assume expectations pretty high for that unit coming into this year. Yeah, we, we're excited about our, our team. We, we're a type of football team that has to play a team game. We really do. We can't just say our offense is going to do this or our defense is going to do that. We, we've got to fit together, and I think uh, we do a good job. We're going to run the football. Everyone knows we're going to, we're going to run the football, and, and uh, but our defense last year really stepped up and and uh, you know the, the points against takeaways we were excellent you know we've been in the top in the country for three straight years in takeaways so we have a lot of expectations for our, our defense and i think really we have some depth over there we're going to be able to rotate some defensive linemen which is always important and uh, we feel like we're athletic and, and uh, it's a challenge in our league because there's so many good quarterbacks so we're, you know we've really got our, our work cut out for us uh, there certainly are tell me a little bit you mentioned quarterbacks about your quarterback situation nevin sussman and will brunson both saw some time at quarterback a, a year ago. How important will it be for one of them to take hold of that position heading into the season? Well, I, you know, I think it's a great question because everyone wants to say this, you know, he's the starter, but they have to earn it. They have to They have to do it for a time. EB's been a great running back for more than a year. So, he, you know, he, he's a he's in a position to be the starter. I, I think Brunson is, is the leader right now. I think they're, they're both very capable. The kind of good thing for our offense is that they're different. And, and we're going to be able to play both of them. And I think that um, Nevin Sussman's going to go in the game at times and run a completely different package. And that's something that, w that we're excited about because it puts a lot of stress on the defense of our opponent. And uh, so they're both going to play. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, we're, we're blessed with two great quarterbacks, not just one. One game I have to go to last year it had to be the opener for both of you at Buffalo. Uh, a big win over FBS team, your first one in team history. I just Relive that moment. What was that like for you, and what did, what did that mean for the program? 
Um, well, before the game, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I got the guys ready. You know, I wanted to let them re reminisce on what, what, when we played them the first year, how that went and how it's not going to be easy and it's going to be a fight. And I think from there, with the energy and everything, it just translated over into the game. And then once we saw people start making plays and, you know, we just got in tune to the game, we, took, we got to truly show what type of team that we really are and especially heading into this year, what team we can be getting better for the season as well. Absolutely. <laughs> would you say you role model your game after? I mean, like Scott said earlier, led the league in rushing last year, 16 rushing touchdowns. You were absolutely phenomenal in the field. Who are you trying to emulate? Maybe that's out there in the NFL right um, now. I don't really look for somebody I try to emulate, but a lot of people tell me a lot. I, I kind of remind them of Marshawn Lynch. Oh. You know, it's a great comparison, yep. but you know, I'm just looking to be the best running back I can be. You know, I, and my, me being a competitor, I'm trying to be better than him. Yep. So, you know, I think it'd be a disservice if I just say, I'm trying to be just like him. If I'm not trying to be better than him, then it, it, it's a disservice. Like I said. Beast mode, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. And I believe, Coach, uh, you might have a story to tell about that game that we referenced. Well, the, the thing was interesting about the Buffalo game, and E.B. Will, I think could tell you this, is I went in to give the pregame talk before the game to the team, and I walked in, and they, the energy in the room was through the roof. I couldn't even, I just went, all right, let's go play. <laughs> and literally, they were, they were standing in the doorway pressing to get on the field. It was impressive, and they went out and played that way. Yeah, they, you know, they certainly did, and... Uh, you know, that's the way that the season started a year ago with a win. And, and do you feel like this team uh, can be a squad that, you know, leaves no doubt that is a playoff team this year? You know, you're heading into camp and you feel confident about your team this year. Well, one of the things that I have a, you know, my pet peeve with, the, with playoff committees sometimes is that they look at last year mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, Albany wasn't very good last year. Or, and those things happen. So your past performance sometimes can hurt you not get in. Hopefully we've, we've added some, some credit to, the, you know, some – bank here that we're a good football program yeah. now and that, that if we are on the bubble that we'll get that nod but we don't want to be in the bubble and I you know I told the kids you know there's a simple way to solve these things is to go out and win more football games but that's a challenge and you know we're willing to accept and we're going to go out and do our best to, to win the eight nine games it takes to get in the, into the playoffs. Well, well we wish you the best of luck in doing that uh, and uh, best of luck to you this season in recovering uh, from that injury we want to see you at full strength this year Thank that's you. for sure the rest of the league does but uh, <laughs> we, cer we certainly do elijah evie token and greg so thank you thank for your you. time thank you.